Kiara here and I'm here to tell you guys about my teen mom story and how I became a, a teen mother. And if you see me looking down a lot, it's because I wrote everything down with my and baby's also. father for about seven months before I got pregnant. And while I was with him, it was not good at all. I should have left him way before I got pregnant, but I didn't. So judge me. But while I was with him, he was abusive. I mean, putting his hands on me, talking down on me, everything. And let me tell you, he was 29 years old. I was 17. I should have knew from the get-go that it, was, it wasn't going to work. But me being a teenager, I just, you know, I fell, in, I fell in love too quickly. And that's my problem that I'm working on. I fall in love way too fast. But back to my story. <laughs> Once I found out I was pregnant, he did not want me to keep the baby at all. He despised it. Like, he didn't agree with it at all. He was pushing abortion on me, like, really hard. But I didn't stand for it, and I kept my baby. He kind of was okay with it, but he still, like, would keep, keep pushing abortion, you know, telling me to get abortions, telling me to adopt the baby out. He didn't want another baby. And before my son, he had three other children. And he eventually came to terms with my pregnancy, like I said, and the abuse started again. And I didn't, I wasn't having it. I had to leave, I had to protect my child that was unborn at the time, and I just left. So we eventually just like went out of touch for a while, probably up until a month before my due date is when he took me to labor classes and he was it was only three days and that was the last time I saw him before I went into labor now once I went into labor he popped up at the hospital all happy and father of the year type ish which I was okay with I wasn't gonna deny him access to the baby oh, my child and I didn't want my I don't want my son growing up thinking I kept him from his dad which I'm not doing about and two weeks after I had the baby, I let him come to my house to visit and everything. And he was still pushing for me to give the baby his last name, which I wasn't, I wasn't bending on. So he started to get abusive again. And I was not having that. I would not allow somebody to be putting their hands on me while I have my two-week-old son. Uh, really? So I went and got a restraining order on him, and that was that. I told him he was not allowed to take my baby anywhere, and if he wanted to visit the baby, it had to be on my terms at my house. He was not taking my baby anywhere because prior to our um, big argument about the last name, he made threats about taking the baby out of town, taking the baby from me, getting custody, because it's all because he didn't want to pay child support. But hey, you gotta pay what you weigh. You may you help make a baby, you gotta help take care of the baby. And that's now just we're that. going through court and he is trying to get custody of the baby and right now he changed his number, he changed his address. I can't contact him and I try contacting him just to um, you know, so he can check up on his baby, see if um the baby needs anything, but I guess he really doesn't care. What he tells me all the time is, I have three other kids, I ain't finna worry about yours. Okay, but he's yours too. But besides that, I am a grateful mother. I have my own home. My son has his own room. For me, 18, I'm doing a hell of a job. My son is very healthy. I'm still in school. I'm planning to graduate in June. And I'm going to make some of myself. So now I'm a single teen mom raising Caden. Now you know my story.